Okay, students. Again, two more chapters. I am going to cover. That is acid, base, and salt. In this chapter, you know that compounds like uh, baking powder, bleaching powder, washing soda, plaster of Paris, sodium hydroxide. Those are deleted. And you must have a general idea about acid. Acid means they contain one or more replaceable hydrogen atoms. HCl, H is there. H2SO4, H2 are there. 2H are there. HLO3, 1H is there. So those are called acids. In the acids, you will get strong acid, weak acid. Those are different. And in case of base, OH is the main. OH, hydroxide. Remember, acid in water, they form hydronium ions. H3O+. You must know the background. You must know the reactions which are there in the textbook properly. With the proper formula. Then comes what you call pH, power of hydrogen ion concentration. Then you should remember numbers from 0 to 14, 0 to 14, 7 is neutral, less than 7 till 0 acid, acidic, more than 7 up to 14 basic. Acid rain falls. What happens? You must know the background. What could be the pH value? You must note down. Tooth decay takes place less than 5.4 like that. You must know what happens. Acidic it is. The acid present in the produced in the stomach, which helps in the digestion of the food. You know it is a mild acid, HCl. If there is, a, you know, stomach pain, irritation in the stomach, remember, we are advised to take the tablet, magnesium hydroxide. It's a base. They may give that question, but you must know particular name. Antacids, what we call. In the same manner, this is up to acid base and salt. Salt means beyond me, it's not there for your syllabus. Next comes metals. You must know the properties. They are hard except sodium and potassium. So they may ask which of the following is not hard. Sodium is the one of the options or potassium or both. Lustrous in nature. You must know which is liquid metal, mercury. They may ask because it is told that they ask very straight questions. So you must know specific answer. Very much specific. Sodium, potassium, these are very strong one, strong metals, active metals, aluminium. Further decreases activity series, you must remember it. Gold, platinum, silver, they are least reactive, less reactive. So that's why you must remember the properties of non-metal. Non-metal in which the element is, uh, I mean, what you call liquid. It's a bromine. Non-metal which is lustrous, iodine. You must know in a specific manner. Study like that. Study the book. Properly. So that's why metals, non-metals, reactions you must remember. When metals react with water, which gas is liberated? Hydrogen. Which compound is going to form? You must remember. Sodium with water, sodium hydroxide. Magnesium with water, magnesium hydroxide. 
common gas liberated is hydrogen. So I am giving you the background how to study. So study the book. Go on, say, when you go on studying the page, page wise you, you note down the points. You can understand easily by yourselves. So that's why here I have written only a few questions. Based on this, you try to tackle the questions by yourselves. This will help you definitely how they ask. You must know the particular reactions. Which compound is going to form properly. Mg with H2SO4. MgSO4 is a salt. Pakka it is perfect. And hydrogen. So in this manner you must prepare. You must know the ores. Which is the main ore of iron. It is hematite. You must know the formula Fe2O3. Boxite Al2O3. 2H2O. It is a, a, a ore of aluminium. Mercuric sulphide. HGS. It is called cinnabar, zinc sulfide, zinc blend, ZNS. You must know all this. Corrosion. How to prevent corrosion? Which are the methods? For galvanization, which layer, which layer is going to be coated? You must know it quickly. This is called entrance exam. I mean multiple choice. In a smart manner you have to study. So with this background, let us study some 10 what you call multiple choice. Watch. Which one is odd? You can say which one is odd? Instead of incorrect, you can say odd. Odd means out of four, one is not going to match. This is very tricky question I have tackled. Onion, clove, litmus, vanilla. All of these are indicators. They tell you whether given solution is acidic or base. Odd means here. Onion, clove, vanilla. These are all factory indicators. All factory means by smell. The order changes, but here color changes. You can see the color, but here you cannot see the order. So all of these three belong to same group and this is not. So that's why it is odd. Now, see the second question. Which one is more acidic? More acidic means number should be less. Less than 7. If you take 6 and 5, more acidic is 5. So as the number is least, it is more yeah, acidic. So if you watch this, it is a basic no answer. Here, here, if you compare, it is answer. But here, the least one is 1.5. Now so to go for this. Next, gold dissolves in. You must know the characteristics of gold. It will not dissolve in water. It is not going to dissolve in acids. It is not going to react with air. Then it reacts, it is going to dissolve only in concentrated nitric acid and HCl mixture. There is a ratio. That mixture is called aqua regia. Remember all of you, gold dissolves in aqua regia. If you take fourth one, which of the following is not base? If you see the options, here you can watch OH. All are OH. Wherever OH comes, we tell it is a base. Hydroxide. Correct. But, it is inorganic compound. Sodium hydroxide, inorganic compound, potassium hydroxide, 
it is ammonium hydroxide it is remember not ethyl hydroxide it is called alcohol oh group attached to the hydrocarbons they are coming under the branch called alcohols so it is not called ethyl hydroxide it is called alcohol this is the answer the acid present in tomato you must know the acids name is there in the textbook b specific oxalic acid over Citric acid present in lemon, lemon juice. Curds, lactic acid. That's why you must know these things. If oxalic acid name is not written, if none, has, none of these is given, you have to choose none of these. If you take, when zinc reacts with NaOH, sodium hydroxide, the salt obtained is you must know the answer perfect manner. That is Na2 ZnO2. It is. Sodium Gingate. You see, sodium ZnO2. Na single it is. Na2 it should be. This is starting with the Zn. No answer. Zn. No answer. How to analyze? I am giving you the hint. Analyze. Sodium Chinke. You must know the name. Then you must know the formula. So these two options are wrong. Then these two are correct. But among these, one is perfect. Perfectly right. Then you must know the formula. This is how you can study the chapter. See, I have written here six examples. I have given you the ideas. I am giving you background in this manner you can study in that pattern. Reactions, names. What, how, how, how does, you know, litmus paper works, work with, uh, what do you call, acid. It turns blue litmus to red. You must know it. For base, red to blue. What is the color of the phenolphthalein? You must know colorless. Methyl orange. And remember, they ask very simple, easy questions. But you must know the book perfectly. Now let's come to next chapter called Metals and Non-Metals. Here, you must know the properties of metals. Which is the best conductor you must know. Which is the best, what you call, uh, the metal having, uh, say, liquid in state. Liquid in state in case of uh, non metal, I told already. So, all this you must know in a specific manner. See the example non metal, which is lustrous. Only one non metal, you must know that. Answer is iodine because bromine is also non metal, carbon is non metal, chlorine is non metal. All are non metals. Chlorine is a gas. It is solid, liquid, iodine is solid, but it is lustrous. Remember one more property, they may ask which of the following undergoes sublimation, iodine undergoes sublimation. They may twist the question. This is how objective questions are based. Which of the following is correct equation? They give you four equations of one compound. They don't give different, uh, usually, what you call reactions. So they are given HGS, HGS with O2, HGS with O2, HGS with O2. HGS on heating, it will not form what you call SO2. It will not. So this reaction is wrong. Now you are confused with the B, C, D, because in uh, reactant side, if you see O2, O2 and O2. So you are confused. You will be in confused state. But if you are thorough with the chemical reactions, if you are thorough with the logic, perfect brain working, you will go for D because HGS on roasting. Sulfide ores undergo roasting. 
in the middle reactivity and in the low reactivity. Carbonate undergoes calcination, CO3. They never use O2, calcination. Therefore, Hg plus SO2. Mercury you are going to get. So here, formula is wrong. Formula is wrong. You are not going to get these two immediately. So you are going to get mercury. Perfect answer. Next. If you with the steam, be careful. I have not, I have not told water. I have told H2O steam. Steam, then what is the X? See, they twist the question. X. X is not known. But you must know with the water, with the water and iron, it forms only one specific Fe3O4. Magnetite. Fe3O4. Steel iron are coated with dash during galvanization. Galvanization means layer of zinc where you where it is, it is here. You must be specific. So in this way, you must study the chemistry. Almost I think uh, in the previous and here, all together there are 20 I have given. 20 from chemistry. But they ask total 40 marks, total science. Including biology. So they may ask 15 marks in chemistry, 15 marks in uh, physics, 30 and 10 marks in biology or 15, 15 like that. But you must study properly. Whatever may be the weightage according to the chapter wise, you have to study properly. It will help you for PUC in second year science. So with this, I can say the chemistry information is given. Read thoroughly. My dear students, face the exam with a bold, with a conscious mind, with a positive mind. Enter, think of the question, see the answers. Don't get confused. If it is confusing, go to the next. Wait for some time. Because you must take one minute or maximum two minutes. You should not take more than three, four, five minutes. Then you are in trouble. I mean, you are unable to get the answer. So with this, thank you very much. Afterwards, we go to physics section.